one word to describe you on the football field. One word to describe me? Savage. <laughs> When did you start playing football and what got you into it? <clears throat> um, I started playing football when I was probably about seven years old. And my cousin, Dazon, he was just like, yeah, come on, let's play. You know, I got to get you into it. So when I first started, I ain't really like it because <laughs> I don't know. I ain't like people telling me what to do. So I ended up playing flag football. And I had number 62, so <laughs> I ain't like it, man. Do. That's the first number I started off with. I played guard. Then, <laughs> then, and my first time playing tackle football, I played for the, the Tigers, the East Side Tigers. I had number 70. I played middle linebacker and DN. I had 70 and 50. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a, a big difference from where we at today. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. <laughs> um, the Warren Jets. I started off playing flag with the Warren Jets. Then I went to the East Side Tigers. Played until my 18 year. Then I played for the Detroit Spartans. Yeah, and that's I, I keep hearing about about that Spartans team. Y'all, oh, yeah. y'all was pretty good. Oh yeah, we was the best. Still undefeated to this day. Okay, so y'all y'all won the ship then. Yeah, we went we went back to back when I played. My last two years we went back to back. But when we went down to Florida, that was something different. <laughs> also, them, them Florida boys gave, gave y'all a little run for y'all money. Yeah, it was something like that. <laughs> uh, when did you realize that you were pretty good? <clears throat> uh, my B team year, I was probably about 12. I realized I could actually play because, like, all the other years I've been playing, I played, like, kicker, linebacker, guard, <laughs> like, everything. I had, like, probably the worst swag ever, man. Like, <laughs> But when I turned 12, I was, you know, taller than everybody else. Um, I had a whole bunch of people around me that was like, look, bro, take it serious and you could play. Like Shondell, me and him, he was my running back. I had Matt as my running back for the Tigers. Yeah. I played with Dre Sill, Jalen Bell, all of them. We, we had the squad. Yeah, I definitely did. <laughs> so who is your biggest influence outside of sports? My biggest influence outside of sports, probably uh, my granddad. Cause he died when I was younger, and so it's like everything, everything I do now, just for him. Like I play football for him, you know. I study for him. Like everything I do, I carry myself around for him. Cause I know if he was here, you know, if I'm doing some BS, he'd check me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you enjoy doing outside of sports? Um, outside of sports, I probably play the game, uh, just sit, sit around, talk <laughs> on Twitter, something. Just be chilling. Chill. So you more of a, a chill at home body. Yeah, I don't go out. <laughs> My sophomore season, it was, it was good. You know, I could have, I could have did better. You know, my quarterback, all praise go to him. My line, everybody else. You know, we had the squad. It's just we came a little short from a couple plays, but I feel like overall it was good. But I didn't have the, I, was, I didn't have the year I wanted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying. <laughs> What what do you feel like the best game was that you had? Like what what team did y'all play? Uh, probably the first game had to be that, the, uh, the sideline catch. And so far this off season, what have you been up to? Um, this off season I just been in the books. You know, I might take a couple classes this summer so I could poss possibly graduate early. Um, just working on my feet. You know, just trying to get my game so I can be the best. Okay, so that's something specific that you're working on, like your feet going into your dream season. Yeah, trying to uh, beat press, you know, when they shade inside. Sometimes I take an outside release, but I got to work on stacking the DB mm -hmm. also. You could have one superpower, what would it be? The power of charm. <laughs> <laughs> so I could just swindle my way in the game something. Like just, you know, when I'm talking to girls, I'd be like, look, you know, you might as well just give me your number and she'd be like, all right. <laughs> just off top. Yeah. Uh oh, uh, favorite shoe? Favorite shoe? Probably the Space Jams. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jordan 11 Space Jam. Yeah. Uh, favorite artist? 
Uh, why fan Lucci? Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, favorite food? Um, chicken Alfredo. <laughs> All right. Uh, favorite football player? My favorite football player is I got a couple. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins and Allen Robinson. Okay. That's two good ones for sure. Uh, favorite movie or TV show? Um, my favorite movie or TV show? I, I like to watch The Flash. Uh, I've seen uh, Shrek probably about 10 times this week. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm in the movies and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, roller coasters or water park? Uh, I say a water park. I don't like getting on rides. <laughs> <laughs> Period. Okay. The uh, funniest comedian? Um, it's a couple in my school. I would probably say Sauce. <laughs> 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 that man is silly, man. So you just throw sauce in there. Yeah. Um, who would you rather have on your team, Antonio Brown or Odell Beckham? Um, probably Odell. Nah, Antonio Brown, cause Odell gonna try to take my number. <laughs> uh, your top three receivers of all time. Of like, all time. All time. Um, Jerry Rice as number one. I put Chad Johnson as number two. Okay. And Terrell Owens is number three. All right, all right, <laughs> all right. Chad Johnson had like the craziest off the line stuff. His like, feet, man. Yeah. I watched his documentary so many times. His a uh, football life. Mm -hmm. I've seen that so many times. Though. Yeah. His his move, his route running and off the line. Just like, he get in now. His break so nice. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where, where would you want to go? Anywhere. Um, I don't know. Probably go down to Florida, just to show him that you know. The kids up in Michigan can play, <laughs> even though I did it already. Yeah, Allen Robinson <clears throat> and DeAndre Hopkins as your favorite player. What do you like about their game? Just they, they mentality. Like DeAndre Hopkins, he go up for every ball. Mm -hmm. His hands, he aggressive. Allen Robinson, just with the crisp routes, like everything about him is just, just a all around playmaker. Like determination for the ball. It's just they they love football. They passion is there. Mm -hmm. Like I see it when I when I watch their film. So you you like take time to actually watch other people film to help you get better. Yeah, I see. I look up something on YouTube. It's called a film breakdown. I watch that. I see how DeAndre Hopkins went against Jalen Ramsey. I seen him go against. Um, I think it was Jimmy Smith. Mm -hmm. I, I just I love watching it. I can't get off of it. <laughs> That's what it is. Um, what do you feel like is the best part of your game right now, personally? Personally, the best part of my game is probably my mindset or my ball skills. Cause my my mindset is, you know, I'm the best. I'm I just want to win every time. Mm -hmm. Like I even if it's blocking, I just want to come break your face to let you know that I'm better than you. <laughs> you wear number thirteen for King. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the significance of that number for your team historically? Um, Ambry Thomas. He wore the number. My freshman year, I told him like, when you leave, I'm gonna get 13. I'm gonna I'm represent for us, mm -hmm. and it's just it's just like that. Like he was like, man, don't disappoint me. You got You got a ball in that number. You can't. You got to put up numbers. Mm -hmm. And I watched his film. Like I watched his sophomore film, his junior film, and I played with him his senior. Year, so mm -hmm. it's like, what I seen him doing 13. I I couldn't let nobody else get it. So. I had to step up, put the jersey on, and just rep the number. Yeah, he definitely bought. Mm -hmm. You currently are ranked as uh, one of the best receivers in the country, definitely in this state. Um, how has recruiting been going for you so far this offseason? So far this offseason, recruiting has been kind of easy for me. I let uh, my coaches handle it, so it don't you feel me? So I don't get too overwhelmed with it. Mm -hmm. Just let uh, the coaches talk to you know the college coaches and you know, plan my visits. And everything just going going smooth so far. Okay, you plan on going anywhere for any other unofficials anytime soon, or uh, just visiting schools? Yeah, I plan on uh, getting up to Michigan State, Michigan, and Ohio State uh, soon. You play East St. Louis for the first game next season. Uh, what are you looking to do, Game One? Uh, game One, uh, I'm looking to just ball up, you know, because some kids probably. It just no, I had got a DM the other day from Instagram. Somebody was like, "Yeah, I thought you was just so garbage, you know." <laughs> and I watched you play, like I watched your film or whatever, and you just look good. I'm like, "All right, I somebody got, from East St. Louis." Oh, no, I don't know where he was from, so I just gotta, you know, prove myself and on a big stage, first game in front of everybody. That's definitely gonna be a big stage. You playing against a team that 
nobody in Michigan never seen before, mm-hmm. and they supposed to be good. So we, we definitely gonna see. Oh yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> um, your offense has a lot of explosive players. Uh, what are you expecting from your team this season? Um, numbers, stats, this area, Slim, uh, Jalen McGoy. From what I'm expecting from him is a breakout season. He, that's my dog right there. Uh, Lemio Wally, Rayshon Williams, Jerry Tucker, Dominic Hanna, everybody. We about to go crazy this year. And my running back, Shondell Hardnick, gonna go crazy. That's mm-hmm. my man, so we grew up together. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I'm looking for stats from everybody. You know, we got a whole bunch of familiar faces. Everybody good, you know. Is it any particular DB or team that you're looking forward to playing this season? Um, East St. Louis. East St. Louis, Muskegon, first two games. You know, come out, get it, get it with them. Or if I'm gonna stay in the city, I'll probably say Cass Tech. You know, they be talking crazy. I know JBN was like y'all, y'all hype man last yeah. year. Who who is gonna take over that spot this year? Um, this year. It's probably gonna be sauce, <laughs> cause he just so silly. Like he bring that the joy to the team. Like he, like I don't know. He just so happy, man. Yeah, and he could ball. Yeah. Like sauce caught me off guard last season for real. Uh, I knew he had it. We I played with him like since my B team year. Yeah. I knew sauce could play. What do you listen to before games? Um, I listen to Y Fan Lucci. I listen to uh, Destin. Uh, or um, who I do it for. Like when I listen to that song, I think about my granddad and mm-hmm. you know all the stuff he taught me when I was younger, and it just get me ready to just go and play. <laughs> they can't mess with us. They can't mess with us. That boy is Benny Hanna. I'm ready for the season. Me and my guys, we've been working. We about to, you know, show y'all, get this 14-0 state championship. Let's get it, man. Let's 